Hey YouTube, Guns of 38 here, again with the uh, 300 Blackout. Um, I shot 150 grain uh, on my one of my last tests, and I had someone respond to me and said that they didn't feel that it would have adequately have uh, opened up. Um, he suggested 125 grain uh, Hornady SST. So I loaded some of those up. I actually shot them the other day. Um, I was shooting 125 grain, 300 Blackout. Uh, I was using 296 powder, 17.5 grains. Um, I was getting about 2130 feet per second. Um, I thought I could do better than that. The low data, uh, the maximum low data for the uh, 296 with that configuration is 18.5 grains. Uh, so I loaded up some 18.3s. Uh, Try and keep it a little safe. We'll see what it see what it does. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and chronograph those. I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, uh, get this rifle zeroed in. Um, I'm actually going to shoot the ballistic gel this evening. I'm going to use the uh, pistol um, to slow the bullet down to uh, uh, actually um, mimic what I would get at distance with the uh, with the 125 grain bullet um, at the 2130 feet per second, zeroed at 48 yards. Um, I'm also zeroed out. To 140 yards uh, with a bullet rise of about 1.1 inch at uh, at 100 yards is my peak um, up until then it's climbing uh, at 140 yards I'm only traveling at 1809 feet per second so uh, we're gonna try and speed that up a little bit and, and we'll we'll do the calculations on that but I want to see what I'm gonna be doing what the bullets gonna do at those distances and we're going to do that by shooting out of the 8-inch uh, barrel. So let's give this a shot and see what we got. We've got some hot rounds loaded up here. I've got four of them. It's not a big group. I need to come up a little bit. And I need to go right just a little bit. Alright. Uh, I'll see you guys tonight. And uh, actually, let's see what we got. The low is 2244. The high is 2289. The average is 2263. Twenty two sixty three average. Let's put that in the ballistic calculator. Everything else being equal. Twenty two. 63, done, save, save data, overwrite, calculate, okay, we've changed it, we're actually going to be, our peak is going to be still at 100 yards, but it's uh, 1.3 inches, so less than an inch and a half in height, um, we're still zeroed at 48 yards, which is where the target is off the muzzle, and it now drops back in at uh, 160 yards, uh, traveling 1,855, 18, 1,885 
feet per second, excuse me, with uh, energy in foot pounds out at 160 yards of uh, 987. So we'll see you guys tonight, and uh, we're going to wait for it to get a little darker. We're going to try to light up ballistic gelatin again, and uh, peace. Guys, at 38. Hey YouTube, we went ahead and chronographed the uh, pistol, the 8 inch barrel with the 125 grain Hornady SSTs um, that we loaded up. Uh, they're actually loaded with uh, 296 Winchester powder, 17.5 uh, grains. They're traveling at about 1890. Um, so uh, we're going to let it get a little darker out here and we're going to see what it looks like in that ballistic gel. Peace. All right, YouTube, you're going to have to forgive the, the neighbor. They're about a half a mile away, and uh, they got the music rocking tonight, so maybe this won't bother them so much. But um, 125 grain, Hornady SST, 300 blackout, under 1,900 feet per second. Ballistic gel's about 10 yards away. And uh, let's see what we can do. Well, that worked. Well, that worked. Well, I'm going to say we didn't capture a bullet. We definitely got some clear expansion. So, uh, hey guys and gals. We're going to go through this ballistic uh, gel pretty quickly. There's not a whole bunch to see here, and uh, this part's probably pretty boring for most of you. But anyway, um, the projectile went completely through 16 inches of ballistic gel and through two water jugs. Um, the second water jug that it went through, the looking at the exit on that water jug, it's not a huge gaping hole in the back of that. Uh, the first water jug split. It hit it with a lot of uh, a lot of energy, um, slowed the bullet down. The second water jug had a, about a I don't know half inch hole, and uh, the exit looked like it was you know about half inch or so split. Um, but anyway, so we could not find the projectile. Looked in the field. Um, I'm gonna have to invest I guess in another ballistic gel block to uh, try and capture some of these rounds that I'm testing. But um. Anyway, let's take a look at this pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and turn. Uh... Sorry about the hairy arm. Okay, looking at the at the ballistic gel, um, you can see the the black right there in the entrance. Um, that's right at about a half an inch is where that black stops, and um, I'm assuming that's where it started to started to expand. If you look down. Right here at about two inches, we've got uh, it's where it started to, to burn a little bit. Um, you saw a pretty good temporary cavity in there, and there's a very small permanent cavity running all the way out to about six inches, six and a half inches or so is where it really started to open up. Actually, if you look in the ballistic gel, you'll see the red tip right there. Um, that's right at just after six inches so I don't know six and an eighth or something like that 
Um, if you look down at seven and a half inches, um, you can see a lot of debris in there. That's small pieces of lead uh, creating their own permanent channels. Um, not huge channels by any stretch of the imagination, but a lot of damage in there. And if I look over the top, you can see the other, oops, excuse my finger, you can see the other uh, red piece in there. That's the um, the second half of the of the uh, 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 the tip. Um, I can see some copper jacketing also in there, right there. Uh, again, lots of small pieces of lead creating their own little wound channels. Uh, you can see a, a good sized chunk of lead right there. Um, there's a, just a bunch of trash right there between six inches and oh nine inches or so. Um, actually the furthest piece of lead looks like it's right at a, about 10 inches. And we're actually looking at the bottom of the ballistic gel, um, not through the, the side that the, that the camera was videotaping. Um, it's a little closer. I shot low on the target, so this is what we get. Um, pretty good permanent channel on the way after that. And uh, there's your exit wound. So that's about all that, that we have to uh, talk about on the ballistic gel. So y'all have a nice day, and Gonzo38 out. Peace. Hey YouTube, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Peace.